This Harikata is very high. Ordinary people have no qualification qualification to enter this kind of subject. This is very beautiful, but this is a very deep subject. If anyone is in this live and can tell me if the microphone is good, please let me know. So imagine imagine an ocean with so many wonderful waves gi gigantic waves but if you don't know how to swim underneath this ocean or this sea there's so many jewels to be able to dive in this deep ocean you need you need you need to be expert in how to dive in water Otherwise, if you're not expert, then then you're gonna you're gonna enter the ocean, and this this will be your end. So there's so many katas in shastra. Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, in so many verses, he speaks about this kata also, which which he which what he spoke in the kirtan. I liked so much. It was very beautiful. Maribo Saki, oh my friend, I will die. This song that he sang was very wonderful. Shimati Radhika, she is saying, she has so much love and affection for Krishna. I'm just going to listen again this part. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, so many verses, he's, he's explaining this beautiful kata that he explained in Kirtan. It was very wonderful. Maribo Saki, this Saki, this, this song is saying, Oh Saki, I will die for sure. This is the song he sang. Anyhow, Shimati Radhika, she is saying, she has so much love and affection for Krishna. Radharani will die, but anyhow, she wants the happiness of Krishna. She is worried about the happiness of Krishna, and this is love. In love, you're not looking your own happiness. You want to see the happiness of your beloved. If he's happy and you are suffering, this suffering is the great, great, greatest happiness. If I am sad, it's okay. If my beloved is happy, this is what matters. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Shikshastakam, in the 8th shloka, last verse, he's saying, Ashlisha Vapadaratam Pinastumam. It is very wonderful. Lampat, she's calling Krishna Lampat. Krishna is a lusty man? No, he's not. So she's using this word Lampat, which is someone who, who wants to stay with many girls, who wants to enjoy. Krishna is not this, but she's using this word Lampat. So this word has a very deep bhav. A very deep and very profound, but also hidden meaning in this word. The, lo the love of the gopis externally looks like lust. Scriptures are saying that the lust, the lust of the gopis is their pure love and their pure love is their lust. Actually, this is the pure love of the gopis. In this world, there is no prema. Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said. There is no prema in this world. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kavraj Goswami, he is saying, in the top of the Himalayas, there is a river flowing on the top of the Himalayas, and there is an, one tree called Jamun tree.
So th there are beautiful fruits in this jamon fruit. They're, they're very tasty and sweet fruits. When these fruits touch the shore of the river, the bank of the river, then one very, very valuable kind of gold comes out when this fruit touches the bank of the river. But this gold does not come to the material world because immediately, immediately after this gold is manifested, all so many demigods from Swarga, they, they, they grab this gold and take it away. They run away with this gold. So what does that mean? The, the, this prema, love, prema is is like this kind of gold that never comes to the material world. So there is no love in this material world. world. This is the conclusion. There is no pure love. We speak about love, love, but actually there is no real love here. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. But there is no love. First, I say, for, for, first we say, I love you, then I hate you, then I am going to kill you. So in this world, the love is actually lust. What is the difference between lust and love? <laughs> so lust is what you do to satisfy your own senses and prema is what you do to satisfy the senses of Krishna. This is the difference between uh, lust and prema. There is no love in this world. Scriptures are explaining. In this this, this material body cannot uh, tolerate prema. Maharaj spoke a very beautiful kata. He spoke about Shraddha, Sadhasanga, Bhajana Kriya, Natanivriti, Nishtaruti, Ashakti, Bhav and Prem. Maharaj spoke everything. There, there is all this, these different levels. Our goal is to achieve prema. So, there are so many Apasampradayas saying that they have Prema. Have you seen people from Baal Sampradaya, they're, they're doing Kirtan and they keep hugging each other. Uh, they keep hugging each other and they don't want to, to you know, they, they embrace each other. They don't want to let go of that embrace. They seem like a crazy persons. Bhakna Thakura he said. They they are called uh, crazy. They they don't have prema. This is not they are not feeling prema. Actually this material world cannot uh, tolerate prema. Cannot cannot uh, hold prema. So scriptures are explaining You see a person with prema, with the eyes like uh, crying and trembling. So many external symptoms, but that's actually not uh, love. This is just external show. People are pretending they are certain things, but we know in Bengal, this is very famous, this kind of persons. The person is pretending, oh, I have prema, I am a great devotee, but actually in a hidden way, he's doing so many bad things. But what is the definition of prema? We need to know. At our acharyas, they explain, Rupa Goswami, he gave a wonderful definition of prema. What is this supreme definition of prema? One drop of one tear, 
One tear. Do you understand what is one tear of love? One tear does not... All, all your tears, they, they, uh, they are completely dry. You have no more, no more tears. <laughs> what is this saying? Because of Corona, all of your tears, they are dry now. So Mah Maharaj explained that they, there was one couple of uh, elderly persons. They wanted to do bhajan, but what happened? And let me just listen to this again. In the month, one, one, actually because of this one part of the year, they died and so they couldn't do their bhajan. So Gurudev is saying our, our tears, they, they are completely dry. The definition of prema is one tear. So the supreme definition of prema is when we cry for God. Cry, cry, you should cry. We should cry for God. We should cry for God. Cry to God and you will see. Who will cry for God? Everybody put their hands in the air. We should cry for Lord, for the Lord. We we ask mercy for Gurudev. Gurudev Kripa Bindadi, oh, please give me mercy. Then Gurudev says, Oh, chant the holy names. But how to chant the holy names? Cry and chant the holy names. You have to cry, but in this world, we don't even know how to cry. We cry. What is the reason? We cry for material reasons. Oh, money, uh, woman, and children, all of these things. But who will cry for Krishna? Nobody. Nobody will cry for Krishna. Why nobody wants to cry for Krishna? Because we have no relationship with Krishna. If we had a relationship with Krishna, then never we would leave Krishna. We would be always crying for him. Guru Govinda Goswami Maharaj, he used to say, cry. There is, there is one kirtan that speaks about this. Mm. So Gorgovinda Gor Maharaj he says I couldn't understand, just cry for Krishna. Now Gurudev is singing Gurudev Kripa Bindu Deer. Somehow some, something happened with the audio I'm listening, I'm translating, let me see. We should cry for the Lord. In Telila Pravishtam Vishnupada, Srila Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, he wrote an article. The name of this article is, We Should Cry. We were born crying. When we, we are born from the womb of our mother, we come out crying, isn't it? All of us. When we, when we come out from the womb of our mother, when we are very young, we cry and cry and cry. Maharaj spoke something very beautiful. In Kapil Devahuti Samvad is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam. When we are in the womb of our mother, we are suffering so much. 
we start to cry and do we start to pray to the Lord, Oh Prabhu, I cannot tolerate stay. I cannot tolerate staying in this womb, in this belly anymore. Please take me out from here. And this is when we are in six months of the six months in the womb. Then Bhagavan says, Oh, wait uh, three more months. Three months three months more. Bhagavan says. And then he asks, Oh, you will do bhajan? Then Bhagavan is saying, You have to promise three times. And we promised three times, I will do bhajan, I will do bhajan, I will do bhajan. And then Bhagavan said, okay. When we were in the ninth month of the womb, in the womb, nine months in the womb, Bhagavan himself, he entered, he enters in the womb as this kind of wind that pushes that pushes us out, out of this, out of the womb. So, but what happens is, since the childhood we are crying, why are we crying? We come out, we come out of the womb of the mother, but when we come out already, we are stuck or bound by Maya. And then we start to wander in this material world. Day and night cry in this material world. In Telela Pravista Bhakti Deita Madhav Maharaj, he wrote this very beautiful article about this subject. This is a very wonderful article. Three pages is explaining about the crying, crying of the human being. When we are born, we start crying. Who does not cry? And we, and we should cry for, for the Lord, for God. If we can cry for the Lord, then our life will be successful. When these tears will come, when we get to this stage, which, which stage? Sadhu Sangha Bhajana Kriya Nantana Vritti Nishta Ruti Ashakti Bhava Shastra explains, if we only have the abhas of Prem, what happens when the semblance of Prem manifests in our heart? We'll be always crying and crying. Crying and calling for the Lord. Sometimes rolling on the ground, sometimes with the arms in the air. Sometimes singing and crying very loudly. This means that different kinds of lilas are manifesting in the heart of that person. Sometimes meeting pastime, sometimes separation. So sometimes he's cry that person is crying, sometimes he's laughing. Shastra explains all of that, and we need to know all of that. If we don't listen this kind of kata, Maharaj spoke very beautiful. He's a, I like so much, he's a Rasik Maharaj. He spoke in a very nice way, in a very, very, very beautiful uh, kind of expression. He spoke very nicely. And we, we were able to dive in this ocean of bliss. Because of his kata, Ananda Samudra Mahima. All of us we are able to dive in this ocean of bliss because of his kata. Bola Brandavana Bihari Lala ki jai. Bhaktivedanta Shri Vishnu Maharaj ki jai. Hmm. Kata was wonderful. He's a he's an Rasika Acharya. So much bliss we felt, so much happiness. Now I am asking, Param Pujapad, Shri Bhaktivedanta Madhav Goswami Maharaj, speak a little bit for us. That he may speak some Harikata for us, especially, especially about the places we went today.
that he may glorify the places we went today. Hmm. Tai Gaur Prima Ananda Hari Hari Bhav.